Hi everyone, I have an amazing video for you guys today. I'm really excited to show you. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Obviously, this is the prototype, so there's going to be more to it. But I'm just going to let you know right off the bat, this is going to be on Etsy. And this is also going to be part of the monthly kit club, the gold part. So here's how it works. We just started this new thing. And everything that you get in the regular subscription kit, you get, right? You get it all. And we just want to do, we keep getting requests to do like really big projects, but the really big projects take a lot of time. So we just decided to do another plan. It's a little bit more money, but what you get with it is a kit, a big kit. It's going to be worth anywhere from like eight to 15. We might even have a couple like huge projects, like $20 kits. Um, and it's only like $5 more, I want to say. Six, maybe? Six dollars more than the basic basics subscription. So if you're interested in that, you can get it. But this will also be on Etsy. Another perk with the... I want to say it's called the Premium Bundle Gold. I think that's what we decided to name it. It's called that and it comes with the big kit as well as a $5 Etsy coupon. Every month it has to be used within the month. But it is a five dollar etsy coupon um etsy coupons are weird you do have to spend over the five dollars so if you spend five dollars and one cent you can use the coupon but you can't buy a product that's three dollars with the five dollar coupon you have to spend over the five dollar amount i don't know why etsy does it that way but that's just how they do it okay so quick little flip through i promise the this was just the prototype guys um look i even wrote like pocket goes here because I added everything. There's a few more flaps in the final version. So, let's just get right into it. I'm going to tell you guys which papers that you need to print backing papers on and whatnot. Alright, this paper, and it says on the kit, so don't even worry. Go to the kit and print this page backing with backing paper. Anything that's a flap, you're going to print with backing paper. So, these, these, these. This, all backing paper. Um, try to see if there's anything else. Oh, right. This envelope needs to be with backing paper. And I believe that's it. So your first pieces you're going to need are this piece, this piece, and this piece. We're going to just create the main cover folio. Okay. Here we go. So I printed this so you can line it up with the leaves in the background you don't have to but you can so one thought is don't ink this unless you want that look but personally i did not okay so glue it i mean and your your main folio like the main cover part you do want glued down pretty good so we're just going to get down to that all right this piece goes on the bottom and after it's somewhat glued down just make sure that you can still fold it in. It's not gonna be perfect, but we can get it pretty close. Make sure you're centered and that you can still fold this piece. Okay, come on, little piece. Come on. I've already scored all my pieces. That's really important in this kit. Make sure you're doing that. Okay, like that. All right, then just do your top piece, same deal. Between every step, make sure that your things can fold. That's how you're gonna get the best results I have found. All right, there we go. The glue is still wet, so be gentle with it. Make sure they're lining up on the sides. All right, and just like that, we already have our main layout. This is some tape because I accidentally cut into the thing. So that, I had to tape that. All right, here's your next piece we're gonna be focusing on. So grab this piece, this piece, and this piece. And just glue the flap down on the side where it's all blank, your backing paper. Fold it and make sure it's lined up how you want. 
You can center it. I want mine a little bit higher. So I'm doing that. And then do the exact same thing with this. Once you get it going, it's pretty, once you cut it out, cutting it out is probably the hardest part. Well, I know it's the hardest part. Cutting it out is not easy, but if you take your time, it makes all the difference and it's so cute. Okay, so we got this part done. I might wanna scoop that up a little if I can, if it's not too late. So that's what you have going. If you need to, feel free to ink any corners peeking out. Mine are already pretty inked, so I think I'm gonna leave it. So fold it in however you desire. And now we're just gonna glue it down. So I'm gonna get my big glue stick and do this. So as you guys know, me and my mom work together and I, I, you might not know this actually, but I design most of our papers, like the paper kits and the paper she uses in like folios and super simples and whatnot. And I haven't done a whole ton of folio designing. So this is my first big folio I've designed. I've designed a super simple. I did super simple number nine. Some of you may know it, um, might know what I'm talking about, but there's definitely a different style between me and my mom, but we're getting better. We're getting, we're converging, everything is good. And this is, so this is my first folio attempt. So everyone just be so nice to me, <laughs> please. Um, I'm really proud of it. And maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm like proud of something that's not even amazing. But in my mind, this is, this is it. This is, this is the peak of fame for me. Next, we just have these, this little envelope and it goes right here. So this is your flap with the butterfly on it. Um, it's one piece like that. Ink your edges. Be really careful on these cuts. If you do it right on these cuts, it's beautiful. And I'm not one to talk because I struggle really bad with cutting, but I took my time on this and I'm really glad I did. Okay, so we're just gonna glue this baby down. Be generous with your glue. Folios are big kits and they need a lot of help sometimes staying together. Mm, let me scoot it up. A nope, it's already stuck. That's okay. All right, and then there's one more piece that goes with this. It's a little journaling card. So you're just gonna grab that and glue it down as well. All right, now a little pocket goes right here. So glue on the very, very outer edges. Like that. Perfect. Now this, the October kit comes with a ton of fun stuff and it matches with this folio but there aren't a ton of papers from the folio really used in it, but there's tons of pockets and things you can use to stuff in there. Um, but in this specific kit, no, there's nothing. Just grab some vintage paper at home or something like that. Okay, what is next? Next, we're gonna grab these two pieces and they just get glued like this. You could glue them um, Let's see, I think that's how I'm gonna do mine. Ta-da! Just some journaling space. I always try to make sure to include lots of things that you guys can personalize in the kit. I don't want it to be just absolutely crowded with vintage digitals and things like that. Oh, that one's not quite centered. When I first started junk journaling, you guys, I was not, well, hold on, grab these, these are our next pieces. Um, I'll explain this first and then I'll tell you guys a little story. So these are going to be pockets. So line them up how you want. They should look somewhat like this. You're gonna line them up like this and just glue those outer edges again. 
But to tell you guys the story, when I first started this business with my mom, um, well, she was the one that mostly, she did start it. And I was in high school, I was a junior during COVID, and I just was bored, and I had an iPad, and I enjoyed doing art and stuff on it, but I'd never done anything like scrapbooking. Like, I was like, scrapbooking, that's not for me, that's weird. Um, but I designed, and eventually st we started making, like, some money doing it. Um, better than, you know, just, like, a few dollars here and there. Like, we actually started creating, like, this really good business. And I still hadn't gotten into junk journaling. I just liked designing the papers. All digital. Never did a physical thing. And then, lately, it's been, like, three years. And lately... I've just been really enjoying it and I don't know what's happening to me but I love it it's really fun so I don't know and if I can do it anyone can do it because I'm I'm not this isn't my thing you know designing is great but it's not my thing also grab these and stuff them in but now I'm starting to think that maybe it like could be my thing and that I can't do it because look I created this folio and I'm doing this tutorial how exciting. Okay, there's that. Um, these are just tiny tags. I don't expect you guys to really put anything on them unless you want to, but to me they were just decorative, and then this is a good one to write on. Okay, there's that. Let's flip to this page. Um, your next pieces that you're going to grab are these ones. They're going to go right here and here, and we're just going to glue those edges nice and close and see where we go here are the pieces that go into these pockets if you want you could print those double sided with some blank paper also Feel free to stuff any like coffee dyed paper or anything you have at home in there as well. All right, and we are on to what I believe is our last part. Okay, so you have these little guys. Print them, ink them, and then score your lines. And they're just going to be, it's a little waterfall pocket. So you can space them however you like. I'm going to do mine probably pretty close. We will see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that I got that on my first try. All the spacing was strangely really good. They call me one hit wonder. Just kidding, they don't. But you know maybe they should i don't know okay i'm gonna let it dry for a second and then there's a few more things to add on while that's drying um your kit comes with these two little circles and they go on the envelope that is optional you could also just use a rusty like paper clip not rusty it doesn't have to be rusty <clears throat> it could be though if you want and then I'm a little bit embarrassed about this, but this is chipboard. Normally, you would use probably a circular chipboard, but I only had one, so I had to break it all up and use it for this. But you're just going to glue them on. Glue them on well. You do not have to do this. You could, like I said, use other methods. I'm totally doing it, because why not? Make sure that your little circles don't interfere with your fold line so don't get too close to the fold line and then while that's drying um we're gonna go back to this uh, there's these in the kit there's just some journal extra journaling space to put under right here super cute i'm in love with it make sure you ink them Uh, 
Um, I'm not going to use this one, but you totally can. You can use it anywhere. It would look really cute right there. So there we go. It's all coming together. Um, add string onto this. I'm not going to do it in the video, but um, essentially it'll just, well, maybe I should just do it in the video. I just don't have great string. I have this pretty thick string, but it could work. Maybe we'll see. Oh, that will work. We're good. We'll do it. Um, no, because I have to do it on the cover, so I'm not doing it. But you do add some string to keep that closed. And the order I'm closing it in is here, here, then these two, then this one, and finally this one. I love these guys. So you could just clip it, call it good. You can glue this into a journal. You would just have to cover this page or you could just have it as its own separate thing. Like it's pretty thick and heavy. Um, I do have one more thing to add. Maybe. If you want, the kit does come with these little circles. Two plain circles. They both look like this. Um, I just added a sticker from the October stickers onto there. Just for fun. Um, and you are going to get some chipboard. <laughs> Again, I had to cut my chipboard. I didn't have any whole pieces. It's really hard living far away from my mom because when I run out of journal supplies, it's like, what did I do? There's nothing I can do. Anyway, um, so glue that where you feel like is good. I think I'll do mine right there. I made the actual circles in the other kit a tiny bit smaller so they don't get in the way as much. This, These were the prototype circles <laughs> and I didn't want to cut them out again because I'm not good with circles. Okay, so there you go. Get your string. Just let that dry and we'll just do a quick little flip through open it up you have your beautiful envelope open again you have a pocket here stuff it with anything you like writing space a beautiful herbal print with more pockets under flip it again it just never ends which is a great thing waterfall cards them together and some pockets and the great thing about this is you can personalize it any way you like the kit comes with so much stuff so if this isn't enough you can keep going you can keep adding stuff it fits pretty nicely actually um which i understand is a concern but it actually does it fits pretty good i wanted it to just be like a thick packet of joy and that's what it turned out to be just heavy beautiful Beautiful prints, pretty seamless, very easy once you um, get going on it. There it is, there's the final piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for supporting me in my dreams of being a junk journal designer and folio creator. This is my first one, like I mentioned before. And I'm just very proud of it. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. We will see you later.